Context Capture Tutorial 3D Mesh Generation from Combination of LiDAR Point Cloud and Photos Step-by-Step -step Operations Step 1. In a new project, import your photos. Step 2. Perform the error triangulation. Step 3. Import your point cloud. Step 4. Ensure that both point cloud and photos are perfectly referenced. Step 5. Create a new reconstruction. Step 6. Submit a production. Create a new project in Context Capture Master. Import your photo data. For this data set, we are using a block XML import file. The photos are loaded with precise precision and rotation information referenced against the LiDAR data. Photos can be added using the Add Photos button and the block can be referenced against the LiDAR data using ground control points. Go to the 3D View tab to review your photo import. Go back to the General tab and submit error triangulation. Go to the 3D View tab to review your AT results. Go to the Point Clouds tab. Click on Import Point Cloud and browse your Point Cloud files. Set the spatial reference system in which your Point Cloud is defined. If your point cloud is in a local grid, leave the value to non-georeference Cartesian system. Press OK to import your point cloud. Select your point cloud to review its properties in the right panel. Set the color mode to either texture the 3D mesh with the RGB information or the intensity value of your point cloud. Review the different scans that compose your E57 point cloud file. Go to the 3D view to review the imported scans and double check if it fits the photo data. The yellow dots represent the positions of the laser scanner. Go back to the general tab and create a new reconstruction. In the Spatial Framework tab, set a tiling if needed and adjust your bounding box. Back in the General tab, submit a new production. Choose Output Format and Options. Go to the 3D view to review your production results.